What the? They just crumbled into a pile of rocks. The magic was lifted. These rocks are their true forms. <laughs> I hadn't planned on this. Who's there? That voice. Was that the White Roses? I'm betting that's the master of those pet rocks. That flag. It's the White Rose Army. Yep. Why are the two houses at war? What could have happened? Hey, that's not all. Isn't that the Imperial Army? What? Oh, that is not cool. Reinforcements. <laughs> By Jove, you're right. It is the Imperial Army. By Jove. <laughs> I love you, Durant. So the Imperial Army is helping the White Rose start a war? It's quite possible. Remember, the Empire was also behind the Undine affair. Yeah, but... Oh, uh, why? We cannot let the Empire have its way. Let us stop this invasion. Yeah, that sounds like a plan, I guess. General Russell, the Black Rose Army has reinforcements! Uh-huh. So, they're the ones who defeated our golems. Hmm. We can't very well retreat in front of our employer. Let's move out. Oh boy. Yes, sir. Defeat Astral Fencer Russell! That man. It's Russell, the Astral Fencer. What is one of the five dragon generals doing here? Five dragon who? Five dragons? What are you talking about? I refer to the five strongest generals of the Imperial Army. Oh! Oh crap! Hmm. Sounds like he's the guy we need to beat to end this quick. So Russell and his men have now sortied, and they're gonna kick your ass. Plain and simple, they're gonna kick your ass. Okay, well Russell's lackeys aren't that tough. And to be perfectly honest, neither is Russell on most circumstances, but since he is an ask since he is one of the five dragon generals, he is tougher than most. Oh crap, item break. Item break is a fencer only skill that breaks the item that says what it says on the tin, it breaks the item that the character has. It'll it'll if as long as the user it has more uh tech than equal to or greater tech than their gen. It's a nasty thing that happened to you. Ooh, I love death there. Now watch this. Oh crap. And there goes his Glargoyle rod. Thanks, Yuri Lowenthal. That was my experience, though. Alright, let's show our true power. Begin the preparations. Right away, sir! Huh. I wonder what they've got planned. Okay, here are the Imperial Soldiers. Nothing too threatening. High Rosary. Bunch of Valkyries. And here's Russell. Yeah, as you can see, as you would have guessed, he is a fencer, yes. He also has the Zantetsu, which, uh, grants... Which is a nice bonus to, I believe, his tech. And he naturally has high tech anyway. Russell, I mean. And it makes him strong against golems. It's a cool sword, I guess. If you could snag it off of him, that'd be pretty cool tools.
explodes with the shot. None of my dudes have items, so uh, I don't have to worry about item break activating, which is good for me. Actually, I'm gonna use it just so I can build this up Russell. Or <laughs> Durant, so he can use it against Russell. Go team! Swordsmanship owned in war. At thy strike, even demon bones crumble. Ah, uh, caught you! That's so much for the astral fencer. I don't know why, but I love that line. I love that line for some reason. It's like, oh, well, shit. I'm. Guess I'm. Guess I'm not as good as I thought. Oops. As one would expect, Russell can go down pretty easily against the likes of Nietzsche and Durant, being obviously being spear users. Put Durant here. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. Come to come to my head. A ton. Wait, wait, no, no, I should let you listen to this. This is the dragon, this is the dragon general battle theme, and it is awesome! Goddamn, I love this battle theme. Stand your ground. <laughs> this is worth slowing down for the battle just to hear this battle theme alone. Cause that fucking guitar riff, man. Love that riff. I believe uh, Russell's luck is three. Yeah. Uh, neat. How much morale does he have left? Okay, if Nietzsche could somehow get the killing blow and do a ton of damage to him, then uh, that'd be cool tools and we can get his item. Damn, he's tough. He's not that tough. You're not the one fighting him. There's a reason they call him the Astral Fencer. Yeah, and he's not doing he's not holding up much of a threat. The only thing that's badass about him is his theme. Sorry, Russell. At this rate. Aunt Cannon, Judgment of the Gods. Preparations complete, sir. Excellent. Aim carefully. Steady. And fire! Whoa! The fuck was that? Whatever it's doing, whatever it's doing, it's pretty much demoralizing all these guys like nothing. Wh what the hell? That light. What just happened? It's a magic attack like we've never seen. I don't know what that was, but it gave us our opening. Now is the time. Attack! Well, you heard the guy. We attack now. That light! I feel a strong energy from it! If someone gets hit by that, it's over! What manner of device has such power behind it? <laughs> it's pure crystallized magic itself. The Ankh. The... Ankh? I see. I'll explain the Ankh myself, then. The Ankh is a weapon that can amplify magic many times over. That energy becomes light and rains down on the enemy. But you saw it yourself. That light is our power. That's crazy! That light shall lead us to victory. It sounds somewhat similar to our cannons. Huh, 
It can't be compared to such cruel weaponry. Our Ankh is a work of art. In addition, it can be used at night, unlike those useless cannons. What a dangerous weapon! It's folly to fear power. What matters is he who wields it. Yeah, that's basically the Ankh in a nutshell. It'll damage an area, it'll damage a set area depending on the map. And anyone in the in the blast that will be affected by it, allied units will not be, will lose 10% of their will lose 10% of morale damage. We'll take 10% of morale damage. Gets nasty. Trust me, getting hit by repeated onk attacks gets really freaking nasty. As you see, this is like, is any, anything in the blue is the range of the uh, Ankh. You look strong! I don't like to fight women. Step aside for your own sake. Mm, this will probably prove worth, worth the fighting and defeat uh, Russell here and now. Oh, if Nisha gets a crit, that'd be sexy. Got him enough, so I'll probably, I'll probably do it. Nice. Looks like I get the Zantetsu. And then one of the map, so uh, it doesn't matter what happens here, so long as Adrian doesn't go ex doesn't explode, then that's, that's great. More powerful steel. More powerful steel! Hey, Drew, if you could please stop sucking, that'd be great. Pull back. This looks like the end. Oh, well, I'll let you off easy. This time. Justice prevailed. Astro Fencil Russell annihilated. Cool tools. Princess, the enemy is in retreat. Badass. That light saved us. What was it? Hey, you know some guy named Roswell? He wants to talk. Said he wanted to thank us. Roswell, the head of Branthy's house of the Black Rose. I see. Let us hold an audience with him. Okay. All right, Milanor, of course, MVP. <laughs> we the Zantetsu. Swordsmanship owned in war. At I strike, even demon bones crumble. And there's item break. Decent enough power, decent enough card by itself, though its effect is kind of lame. I mean, really, you should be stealing items rather than breaking them. Then again, we don't even have a fencer to use it with, so, uh, eh. Without you, we wouldn't have survived the attack. I'm extremely grateful. A favor like that must be repaid. What can I do for you? You are welcome. We must ask you something. Why did the White Rose Army try to invade? Yeah, what was up with that? I had heard that relations weren't so strained before. She, Rosary, seeks our Ankh. Ankh? I trust you saw the light over the battlefield? The pillar of light that rained down upon the enemy. That's the work of our Ankh. That light? The might of the Ankh is unparalleled. Whoever holds it wields an incredibly destructive power. Uh. Huh. Well, and the, well, that takes care of Battlefield 8, so let's save and let's mosey on to the next. You should probably note that I'm recording this on a Sunday, which is kind of awkward for me. I don't usually record on Sundays.